All right, welcome. This is my design. This is, I've called this robot the Breon. So this is the big robotic in uh uh something with an eye on and off uh nifty machine. All right, the Breon. So basically, we've got this is the bird's eye view. And so we've got our wheels here. And so this main design, I'm focusing more on the chassis and its structural design. So basically, we've got um uh, poles between the wheels so uh, as Mr. Johnson said uh, the wheels can easily fall out and so um, I've done that and added zip ties around it uh, along it so uh, it holds together um, and so they're all individually uh, they all have individual motors um, I'm not using the omnidirectional motor wheels thing I'm using the other ones uh, because like we have to get around the post and it would just be easier to control um, and we'll use the uh, the tank steering. Um, and so for the actual um, thing that the mechanism goes on, I think you have two right angle triangles. So strong design. Um, one off against the other. Held together with zip ties and bolts. Um, and uh, I'm also planning on, uh, if needed, a bit of a, a bit of weight. So because like the the pole is quite tough and. We don't want the robot to kind of flip, so if we have something, it'll make the uh, mechanism a whole lot stronger. Um, so these clamps here, they're attached to a motor which is on its side, and that's connected to uh, just r um, r right to the uh, to the motor or to a gear uh, which is attached to the clamp. And so uh, when we put it around the post, I'm planning on if we have the chassis, uh, have it like. Uh, so there's a two millimeter give clearance, uh, so it's uh, kind of a bit more accurate instead of like a big gaping hole for the um, for the pole. Um, we've got a three D model here, so we've got the battery at the back here. Um, we've got our color sensor um, right about there, so it can sense the pole and uh, put in the code to do that. Um, for the uh, getting down the arm. Uh, Fang on the approach of using the wheels for a certain purpose. So, um, if we ram the um, the Breon up against the pole several times, eventually the pole's going to fall down, and then we can use this swivel uh, motion, which has been attached there, uh, to rotate it, and then use the arm only once to uh, to put it up. So, the arm starts. So, like the arm starts down. We ram it against the wall, pole, fall, pole falls down, swivel it, bring it up. Uh, yeah, that's about the basics of it. Yeah, any questions? Um, I, have, oh, yeah. I have one thing. Uh, you know, like, I like the design, but with the ramming of, like, the pole, like, the pole's down, I think... It might be a bit risky, yeah. like you are yeah. relying yeah. on luck a bit. We also, yeah. we also rely on the fact that the robot won't shatter. Yeah. And like yeah. now, shatter. I guess... Yeah, on the, or bend, or... Right. Yeah, the thing is, like, it will so it's just yeah. an older pole screen, it doesn't have as, like, as much, I guess, lubrication as, like, a newer one, like we do. Like, it might not pull down as, yeah. like, easily. I think if we just join that pole, I've just more. proved that that didn't work. <laughs> if we just join the pole, it will still get the job done, technically. Yeah. Well... Well, uh, with the with the base and the strength of it to um, maybe hold someone else's idea for the for the lever, uh, maybe that'll work. Just uh, yeah, just working on the yeah, yeah, that integrity of it. The triangle thing is good. Yeah. Okay. Try, try, oh. But I don't think having the triangle the, uh, held together by mostly zip ties is a good idea because the zip I'm not the zip ties like really thin. They might not actually be that strong and like uh, oh as not, as yeah, support with the bolt. Uh, yeah, Brad. Okay, so first of all, great name, and I love your use of triangles, but I just don't think that ramming into the pole is reliable. Especially right. if you were destroying or damaging yeah. the structure. And it's best to be and able to. The pole, you don't the pole. Yeah, it's best to be able to grab it in well, a place. Where it's, where it's, like <laughs> it's best to grab the pole in a place where it's predictable. Theoretically, if it does work with the weight that we put on it, maybe like, I don't know, lead weights or whatever, we'll use uh, wheel shoes. If we make the robot, if we put too much weight on it, then it's going to be too slow to actually use the weight to yeah. hit it well. Yeah. 
Yeah. And it's got to be on. It's got to get up that ledge as well. Oh, yeah. so Try, turning it. Yeah. Try turning it when it's at the greedo. Huh? Try turning the pole. You can't. You can't. Yeah. So, so oh, what, you can have what, with, with, with that arm that brings it up, it's going to be, it'll like rest on that. And we go. And what if the arm moves and the pole doesn't stay on it? <coughs> Pardon me? Would there be like something that can like the pole can attach to? Yeah, so that like when the arm moves around the pole doesn't get left behind? Uh well it, it's it's loose, but it's got kind of a C shape on the uh, arm that brings it up. Oh, and so when it falls, it'll 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 be loose. We we'll bring it up, then it'll move like that. So could it be sitting on like one of these? Yeah, could be. Okay. Uh yeah, that's Alex, you've got a it looks like you're very frustrated. Let's try that again. Hamish. I just still think it's a bit on the loud one. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. ours is, I think the board's slightly warped, so it's a bit wonky. Yeah, um, Alex. Yeah, Alex. Okay. Alex, okay. Yeah. Up, so go Two Alex. things. I think, like other people have said, slapping the ramming into the ball is an uh, interesting and unique idea, but I think it's a, a, like way too inconsistent to get a, get reliable results. Another mm-hmm. thing with the weight, I'm just worried that if we use if the center if the weight is not evenly distributed then it might make it easier to flip over. Oh, yeah. Because the weight is quite it's a bit to the right, so if it's too heavy on one side then especially if we're ramming into it it might just become a way easier to flip over. Mm-hmm. Interesting point. So I think if we're gonna do the weight then we could probably move it like closer to the middle yeah that's right all right well uh some questions just 